Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to year 2022, wishing you a very happy new year. So let's start 2022 with a video on Kotlin. So in this video, we will talk about a concept of value classes in Kotlin. Let's take an example wherein I have created a class called as time period and it takes constructor parameter which is of type long and here you are passing the time period in milliseconds and then I have a simple function called as display time period which basically takes message and the time period object as the parameter and displays the duration depending upon what you have passed to the time period. Now the problem that you can immediately observe is I have created this time period with a constructor and I am actually expecting it to be passed a long value and that long value should be in milliseconds. But I cannot prevent somebody by passing smaller value assuming that maybe what I am supposed to pass is seconds. I can try to solve it by writing this name to make sure that it explicitly tells what you need to assign here. Say for example milliseconds. This can make it a little bit more apparent to the developer. But still if somebody passes a value 2 there is nothing that I can do to prevent the developer from doing that well in that case what i can do is i can just declare this as time period and then use the concept of companion objects to basically achieve the same goal now what i have here is companion object and here it has got two functions millis and seconds what i can also do is i can make this thing as private constructor and then I basically invoke time period dot milliseconds and time period dot seconds and now with this what I can do is if I run this in the milliseconds I assign it immediate values and in the seconds I convert it into milliseconds by multiplying it by thousand and assign it to the time period. So in this way I make sure that no matter what the user passes whether it is a 2 or a 2000 it gets assigned properly to the time period. It seems like we have solved the problem but we might have introduced an unnecessary performance hindrance without realizing it. Well what do I mean by that? What I will do is I will print the hash code of the time period and now let me run this. You can see that these are two different object hash code values. So that basically means just to solve a problem that we were facing earlier to ensure that the values get converted appropriately and assigned. We solved it but unnecessarily what is happening is even though we are dealing with value types they are now getting converted into object and we are basically forced to create two object instances to just to solve that particular problem and as you might be aware creating objects is much more resource intensive than dealing with a primary data types how do i solve this particular problem how to make sure that this particular 200 2000 or two value that are being assigned to the time period classes are treated as primary value types and not as objects because that is unnecessarily going to increase the complexity of my application. Well in Kotlin 1.5 they have introduced another keyword that you can use while you declare a class that is called as value class but if you use value you have to use a annotation called as jvm inline otherwise you will get a compile time error once this is done and if i run this particular code just observe what happens to the hash code value that you were seeing earlier now they are not treated as hash code values because they are no more objects they are treated as value types basically primary types and that is why you will see that hash code for time period in both of the case is getting printed as 2000 that is the value type that is the primary value type and not the hash code and it is no more a object it is a value primary type and that is the advantage of working with value classes in Kotlin. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, we will meet with an another new topic. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.